The Chairman and Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Muhammad Buba Marwa, retired, has defended the agency's recent focus on seizing assets of drug traffickers and barons. This initiative is part of a sustained effort against illicit drugs and cartels, as highlighted during a press briefing in Abuja to mark the commencement of a week-long celebration for the 2024 International Day Against Drugs and Illicit Trafficking in collaboration with various stakeholders. Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, represented by NDLEA Secretary Shadrach Haruna, emphasized the ongoing success of the agency's crackdown launched since January 2021. Notably, the operation has led to numerous arrests and prosecutions, including life sentences for two major traffickers in an April court's ruling. Firstly, our flagship WADA program, which is War Against Drug Abuse, a whole society approach to prevent the faction against drug abuse over so three years ago on June 26, 2024, having been launched on World Drug Day 2021. I am proud to tell you that the program has been a tremendous success as an effective tool of advocacy for social action and as an awareness driven vehicle for public engagement and collaboration against illicit trafficking and drug abuse. This program aligns well with this year's theme. Secondly, I'm happy to share with you that our offensive action against drug cartels and traffickers, launched in January 2021, has to date continued to yield the desired result with the arrest and prosecutions of several barons. As you are all aware, two serial traffickers got life imprisonment in court in April. Our prosecution efforts have continued to achieve successes in courts given the painstaking investigations and diligence in the prosecution of cases. Our watertight case preparations are unassailable. These have been further strengthened with our forfeiture regime with the passage of process of crime act. Apart from conviction, assets of the convicts used as instrumentality of the crime or the proceeds derived from the crime will be forfeited to the federal government. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes Country Deputy Representative Danilo Campisi urged Nigerian government and stakeholders to invest in preventive measures against drug use, citing concerns over a potential 40% increase in drug users, particularly among youth populations. A key, a key highlight of the annual commemoration of the World Drug Day is the publication of the World Drug Report, which provides important data and information on the world drug problem, highlighting the trends of drug use and trafficking so that policymakers and implementers can be properly informed in developing targeted intervention and strategies to counter drug problems in their respective countries. Besides the preventive efforts of the program on the use of drug use of the drug by youth, in that the additional effects of creating to a more positive classroom climate and learning environment for students. Many schools report that improvement in academic performance across all subjects for the students that were opportune to experience this program. Evidence of life skills part of the program, as well as students who were not part of this program, noting the changing in those that went through the applied program. The NDLEA's prosecution efforts continue to achieve significant milestone in court thanks to investigations and robust case preparations that ensure cases remain solid and unassailable.